Some of you might remember a world where your network architecture looked a little like this. Not that it was just one round perfectly shaped ball, but more like it was gathered in one location, planned, and shaped in the way that worked for your company and your customers. Most likely your network architecture consisted of systems and services that lived in a data center, on site, and didn't rely on external services. When you needed to add a new database or service for a department, it was relatively easy, and you could do it in a way where everything was neatly tied together. Then along came cloud services, and we all added them. Because of how easy they are to scale, add additional remote locations where we may not have had a physical space, and of course, the added features and functionality that would have taken our internal teams months or maybe even years to add. But this created a new problem. As we added all these systems, getting them to talk to each other and share data has become more difficult. So we end up with a system that looks like, well, this. To get data from one component to another, we have to add steps and more complexity. All of this adds overhead and slows things down. This is where a hybrid and multi-cloud architecture comes in. We know it's impossible to go back to something like this, and in reality, we don't really want to. It lacks many of the features and tools our businesses need. Instead, we need a way to tie our on-premise systems, disparate cloud providers, and multiple locations together giving our architecture greater flexibility, supporting our compliance and local data regulations, and providing a manageable workload for both our on-premise and cloud-based systems, ideally tying everything together so that it's fast while maintaining the benefits of this. This course will explore three options, Confluent Cluster Linking, the Open Source Mirror Maker 2, and Confluent Replicator, with the goal of helping you to understand your options and how to configure your systems to take advantage of the cloud while having you feel in control of a system more like this. If you aren't already on Confluent Developer, head there now using the link in the video description to access the rest of this course, the hands-on exercises, and additional resources. Mm -hmm.